The Liber Pontificalis Latin for pontifical book or book of the popes is a book of biographies of popes from St Peter until the 15th century. The original publication of the Liber Pontificalis stopped with Pope Adrian II 867 to 872 or Pope Stephen V 885 to 891, but it was later supplemented in a different style until Pope Eugene IV 1431 to 1447 and then Pope Pius II 1458 to 1464. Although quoted virtually and critically from the 8th to 18th century, the Liber Pontificalis has undergone intense modern scholarly scrutiny. The work of the French priest Louis de Chesney, who compiled the major scholarly edition, and of others has highlighted some of the underlying redactional motivations of different sections, though such interests are so disparate and varied as to render improbable one popularizer claim that it is an unofficial instrument of pontifical propaganda. The title Liber Pontificalis goes back to the 12th century, although it only became current in the 15th century, and the canonical title of the work since the edition of Duchesne in the 19th century. In the earliest extant manuscripts, it is referred to as Liber Episcopalis in quo continentor acta bitorum pontificum urbis Romae. Episcopal book in which are contained the Acts of the Blessed Pontiffs of the City of Rome and later the Gesta or Chronica Pontificum. Authorship During the Middle Ages, St. Jerome was considered the author of all the biographies up until those of Pope Damasus I based on an apocryphal letter between St. Jerome and Pope Damasus published as a preface to the medieval manuscripts. The attribution originated with Rabanus Morris and is repeated by Martin of Opava, who extended the work into the 13th century. Other sources attribute the early work to Hegesippus and Irenaeus, having been continued by Eusebius of Caesarea. In the 16th century, Onofrio Panvinio attributed the biographies after Damasus until Pope Nicholas I to Anastasius Bibliothecarius. Anastasius continued to be cited as the author into the 17th century, although this attribution was disputed by the scholarship of Caesar Baronius, Ciampini, Shell Strait, and others. The modern interpretation, following that of Louis de Chesney, is that the Liber Pontificalis was gradually and unsystematically compiled, and that the authorship is impossible to determine, with a few exceptions e.g. the biography of Pope Stephen II 752 to Papal Primicerius. Christopher, the biographies of Pope Nicholas I and Pope Adrian II to Anastasius. De Chesney and others have viewed the beginning of the Liber Pontificalis up until the biographies of Pope Felix III 483 as the work of a single author, who was a contemporary of Pope Anastasius II 496 relying on Catalogus Liberianus, which in turn draws from the Papal Catalogue of Hippolytus of Rome, and the Leonine Catalogue, which is no longer extant. Most scholars believe the Liber Pontificalis was first compiled in the 5th or 6th century, because of the use of the vestiarium, the records of the papal treasury. Some have hypothesized that the author of the early Liber Pontificalis was a clerk of the papal treasury. Edward Gibbon's Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire 1788 summarized the scholarly consensus as being that the Liber Pontificalis was composed by apostolic librarians and notaries of the Vth and Ixth centuries with only the most recent portion being composed by Anastasius. De Chesney and others believe that the author of the first edition to the Liber Pontificalis was a contemporary of Pope Silvarius 536-537, and that the author of another not necessarily the second edition was a contemporary of Pope Conan 686-687, with later popes being added individually and during their reigns or shortly after their deaths. Content The Liber Pontificalis originally only contained the names of the bishops of Rome and the durations of their pontificates. 
As enlarged in the 6th century, each biography consists of, the birth name of the Pope and that of his father, place of birth, profession before elevation, length of pontificate, historical notes of varying thoroughness, major theological pronouncements and decrees, administrative milestones including building campaigns, especially of Roman churches, ordinations, date of death, place of burial, and the duration of the ensuing seed vacanti. Pope Adrian II 867 is the last pope for which there are extant manuscripts of the original Liber Pontificalis, the biographies of Pope John VIII, Pope Marinus I, and Pope Adrian III are missing and the biography of Pope Stephen V is incomplete. From Stephen V through the 10th and 11th centuries, the historical notes are extremely abbreviated, usually with only the Pope's origin and reign duration. Extension. Topic. It was only in the 12th century that the Liber Pontificalis was systematically continued, although papal biographies exist in the interim period in other sources. Topic. Petrus Guillermi Topic. Duchesny refers to the 12th century work by Petrus Guillermi in 1142 at the monastery of St. Giles Diocese of Reims as the Liber Pontificalis of Petrus Guillermi son of William. Guillermi's version is mostly copied from other works with small additions or excisions from the papal biographies of Pandolf, nephew of Hugo of Alatri, which in turn was copied almost verbatim from the original Liber Pontificalis with the notable exception of the biography of Pope Leo IX, then from other sources until Pope Honorius II and with contemporary information from Pope Paschal II to Pope Urban II Chesney attributes all biographies from Pope Gregory VII to Urban II to Pandolf, while earlier historians like Giesebricht and Waturek attributed the biographies of Gregory VII, Victor III, and Urban II to Petrus Pisanus, and the subsequent biographies to Pandolf. These biographies until those of Pope Martin IV are extant only as revised by Petrus Guillermi in the manuscripts of the Monastery of St. Giles having been taken from the Chronicle of Martin of Opava. Early in the 14th century, an unknown author built upon the continuation of Petrus Guillermi, adding the biographies of Popes Martin IV through John (1316–1334) with information taken from the Chronicon Pontificum of Bernardus Guidonis, stopping abruptly in 1328. Boso Independently, the cardinal nephew of Pope Adrian IV, Cardinal Boso intended to extend the Liber Pontificalis from where it left off with Stephen V, although his work was only published posthumously as the Gesta Romanorum Pontificum alongside the Liber Sensum of Pope Honorius III. Boso drew on Bonizo of Sutri for popes from John XII to Gregory VII, and wrote from his own experiences about the popes from Gelasius II (1118–1119) to Alexander III (1179–1181). Topic: Western Schism. Topic. An independent continuation appeared in the reign of Pope Eugene IV 1431 appending biographies from Pope Urban V 1362 to Pope Martin V 1417 encompassing the period of the Western Schism. A later recension of this continuation was expanded under Pope Eugene IV. <laughs> 15th century. The two collections of papal biographies of the 15th century remain independent, although they may have been intended to be continuations of the Liber Pontificalis. The first extends from Popes Benedict XII 1332 to Martin V 1417 or in one manuscript to Eugene IV 1431 the second extends from Pope Urban VI, 1378 to 1389, to Pope Pius II, 1458 to 1464. Topic: Editions. Topic: 
The Liber Pontificalis was first edited by J. Busius under the title Anastasi Bibliothecarii Vitae Seu Gesta. Romanorum Pontificum Mainz, 1602. A new edition, including the Historia Ecclesiastica of Anastasius, was edited by Fabroti Paris, L. 647. Another edition, editing the older Liber Pontificalis up to Pope Adrian II and adding Pope Stephen VI, was compiled by Fr. Bianchini 4 vols, Rome, 1718–35, a projected fifth volume did not appear. Muratori reprinted Bianchini edition, adding the remaining popes through John the Twenty-Second. Scriptores rerum italicarum. Three. Migni also republished Bianchini's edition, adding several appendixes. P. L. C. X. X. V. I. I. Eight. Modern editions include those of Louis de Chesney, Liber Pontificalis. Texte, Introduction et Commentaire, 2 vols, Paris, 1886–92 and Theodor Momsen Gestorum Pontificum Romanorum Parsi, Liber Pontificalis, Mon. Germ, Hist, Berlin, 1898. Duchesny incorporates the Annales Romani 1044–1187 into his edition of the Liber Pontificalis, which otherwise relies on the two earliest known recensions of the work 530 and 687. Momsen's edition is incomplete, extending only until 715. Translations and further commentaries appeared throughout the 20th century. Topic. See also. Topic. List of popes. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Davis, Raymond. The Book of Pontiffs Liber Pontificalis. Liverpool, University of Liverpool Press, 1989. ISBN 0-85323-216-4. An English translation for general use, but not including scholarly notes. Davis, Raymond. The Book of Pontiffs Liber Pontificalis. Second edition. Liverpool, University of Liverpool Press, 2000. ISBN 0-85323-545-7. Stops with Pope Constantine, 708-15, contains an extensive and up-to-date bibliography. Davis, Raymond. The Lives of the Eighth-Century Popes. Liverpool, University of Liverpool Press, 1992. From 715 to 817. Davis, Raymond. The Lives of the Ninth Century Popes. Liverpool, University of Liverpool Press, 1989. From 817 to 891. Franklin, Carmela Vercillo. Reading the Popes, the Liber Pontificalis and its Editors. Speculum 92.3 2017, 607-29. Loomis, Louise Ropes. The Book of Popes, Liber Pontificalis. Merchantville, N.J., Evolution Publishing. ISBN 1-889758-86-8. Reprint of the 1916 edition. Stops with Pope Pelagius, 579-90. English translation with scholarly footnotes, and illustrations. External links Anastasi Bibliothecary Historia, De Vitus Romanorum Pontificum A.B. Petro Apostolo Usque ad Nicolam I Nunquam Hactinus Typus Excusa. Dane Vita Hadriani II et Stephanie V. Full view of the 1602 Adidio Princeps. Full text from the Latin Library until Pope Felix IV 526-530. Full text from Fontestorische after Pope Felix IV 526-530. Full Latin text of best reading of different manuscripts English translation Loomis, Louise Ropes 1916